CNN, the online reviews database Rotten Tomatoes has unearthed a negative 80 year old right up of Citizen Kane, stripping the cinematic classic of its perfect score among critics and demoting it below movies including Paddington 2 and The Terminator. Orson Welles' masterpiece is widely considered one of the most important titles in movie history pioneering a number of filmmaking techniques that are still in use today. But it apparently underwhelmed one critic for the Chicago Tribune, whose lukewarm review has come back to tarnish the movie's legacy eight decades after it was written. Citizen Kane presents an almost clinical dissection of a complete egotist, the review reads. It goes on to dismiss the film's use of moody sets, I only know it gives one the creeps and that I kept wishing they'd let a little sunshine in. The review was added to the Rotten Tomatoes website on March 2, but has only been noticed in recent days. The website links out to a newspaper clipping of the decades, old story, and its edition means Citizen Kane now no longer has exclusively positive reviews. Wells' film still enjoys 116 positive write-ups on the website, but the sole black mark removes the film from the exclusive 100% club a collection that features movies including the first two Toy Story installments, the much-loved Paddington sequel and Arnold Schwarzenegger's action classic The Terminator. The offending review appears to have been written anonymously, with its byline May Tiny and apparent pun on matinee. The same critic is listed as the author of a number of contemporary reviews for the Chicago Tribune between the 1920s and 1960s. They were more complimentary of other classics, including Lawrence of Arabia and Casablanca. The right up notes the hype that already surrounded the movie on its release, but the critic was nonetheless unmoved. Citizen Kane fails to impress critic as greatest ever filmed, the headline reads. Wells was a 25-year old phenomenon when his debut feature film, based on the life of newspaper publisher William Randolph Hearst, was released. He also starred in the movie, and his directorial creativity, along with cinematographer Greg Toland's distinctive deep, focus frames and unusually angled shots, revolutionized movie, making Mank, a biographical film about Citizen Kane writer Herman J. Mankiewicz, was nominated for a number of Oscars at last week's Academy Awards, ultimately losing out on the Best Picture Prize to Nomadland.